Well guys, I've decided to take the week off from daily videos because I've done like what 27 days of daily videos and I've basically eaten up all my weekends and stuff like that. I haven't had a day off for the past like well start of the month pretty much. So I've decided to take this week off. Maybe even the next one. Get a lot of stuff done. Like I moved all this stuff. Finally got that done. When I, when I don't have to film videos then there's a lot of things that I can get done that just aren't very video worthy. I opened this up and I think maybe I should do a video about this. It's a folding picnic table. That is so cool. And it's actually pretty good. I mean, it might not fit most adults, at least not American adults, because they're pretty fat. But if you're like 140 pounds, then you could definitely easily sit on this. The patent date is, well, it's under 2 million, so it's around the 1930s. So that's pretty cool. That can be a cool video. I also think it's a good time to take a break because I got a bunch of poison ivy. I spent about two hours, ripped out all this poison ivy here. It's been growing there for quite a while. The base of the poison ivy is still there and it's about two inches wide. So that's been there for quite a while. I've been having all this poison ivy sprouting up. And yes, this is actually poison ivy, not poison oak. I have a tendency just to call it all poison ivy, even though most of it's poison oak. Although, this is actually the first time I've really seen poison ivy in my yard. And it occurred to me, the reason it keeps sprouting up so much is because there's a big one growing in there. So I ripped that all out. I got a little bit of poison ivy like rash, but just a little bit like on my hand and stuff like that. It's got some stuff on it, but that'll be taken care of. Did a pretty good job for handling that much poison ivy. Although I think I'll wait to to um, I'll wait until it rains really well before I touch my mower or bother moving any of that poison ivy. I've been keeping my cat inside because Symbol, knowing her, she'll probably go and play through the poison ivy now that I have it all on the ground, like inspecting, like, oh, what's this? And then bring the poison ivy in and get it on me and my mom. So the cat's going to be inside for maybe a week or so because it's surprising how you can catch poison ivy from your cat because cats go places where they're not allergic to the poison ivy but you are and then where does the cat go to as soon as they get in the house onto your lap and start cuddling with you getting the poison ivy all over you so yeah I've done like I don't feel like counting it's like 25 or so daily videos which I'm really happy about I'm really happy about that because before that, my record was 12 daily videos in a row, which doesn't seem like a lot, but 12 daily videos in a row, that's actually quite a bit. That was in January, so I've more than doubled my record of daily videos, so that's pretty cool. I've really been getting back into Final Fantasy XIV. So happy with that game. So I've been playing ever since about like late 2010, early 20, 2011 or so. Or you know, yeah. January 12th, 2011. Maybe 12th? Some date around then. And it took me a little bit to get used to the game whenever they totally redid everything in 2013 or 2014 or whatever. And it, it took me a while to finally give in like, okay, this is how it's gonna be. I'm okay with it. Let's just enjoy the game. And then after that I was like, it's such a pretty good game. Okay. And, you know, because they pretty much redid the entire game halfway through, and it was kind of, it was a big change. But now I've finally had time to get back into the game after a couple months of, like, well, pretty much I haven't played that much since earlier this year. And I'm really enjoying going through, well, the previous expansion, Heaven's Sword. But I'm probably also going to get the the next expansion of Stormblood and go through that too. So that'd be pretty cool. I figure I'll probably have some fun with that. Over over this little vacation, which I've only had a couple days, like two days of it so far, I've already started cleaning out the storage unit even more. Got rid of a couple bags of trash and I've decided to use the storage unit for the Third Street Market antique shop videos. So instead of having the stuff here whenever it gets sellable then i'll put it in there and that'll be my inventory so we can always just go there pick up a box take it to the antique shop and throw that stuff onto the market pretty much 
and I have a lot of stuff to go with that. So that's probably one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend this vacation, which I'm actually still going to be working a lot. But this, this break, the, a break from filming daily videos. And so I'll get to focus on making like a really nice big antique shop video, which is actually the third one. I still have a second one to upload. So that'd be pretty cool. See, my, my goal now is I want to get the storage unit really cleaned up a lot, which right now it's very cleaned up. I want to get it cleaned up even more. And then take a bunch of stuff from the basement and just cram as much as I can into there so the basement's really big and open. And then I can work on removing the big tank in the basement. And that should open up, that should probably double the amount of room that I have in the basement. And after that, I can move some stuff back, you know, whatever. But that would be, I, that's currently my goal for the future. And then like, I guess tertiary to that, after that, would be that if I open up that much room, then I could also move a lot of my work stuff from the upstairs, my bedroom, and move that into the basement. So I might actually finally have enough space to have my library put together in my bedroom, which would be pretty cool. Get some nice bookshelves and finally get all my books together and put them up. Speaking of books, if you guys happen to have any books about brick laying, uh, brick paving, anything, please let me know. Because I would love, I, if you don't want the book anymore and you feel like maybe you could send it to me, that would be awesome because I'm actually looking on on eBay and stuff like that right now and I'm looking at a couple books quite a few books actually old books um, about paving and whatnot because I'm thinking it might be a good idea to repave or just to, re to entirely redo the our driveway because our driveway it's slanted wrong the water doesn't drain properly it, it it's never really been engineered it's just been a bunch of gravel thrown on the ground and so it might be it might be possible to dig that gravel dirt mixture up wash the dirt away so we have gravel again because no sense in getting new gravel and then stocking up on more bricks to make a really nice like a really nice driveway that's nice and smooth it's not going to be shifting or anything and it has nice drainage but i think it'd be, it would be very helpful to be able to read an old book perfectly not a, preferably not a new book because I like how older books have their things worded. Like there's particularly this one book, I can't remember the name of it, but from what I understand, it's basically the book that people would buy if they if they needed to engineer a road for their town. And it goes through all the things like drainage and whatnot. So I think I might buy that. It's from 1895 too, so it's not gonna have any new stuff because the problem is anything after like 1940, It'll just be about asphalt paving, but I want to do bricks because bricks are amazing. And I have, I have an interesting little pattern, like a seashell pattern that I might try, which will most likely involve cutting the bricks at odd angles. But I, I think it could turn out really wonderful. So yeah, that's pretty much that tangent. If you have any brick-related books, like brick laying anything, and you don't want it anymore, feel free to send it my way because I, I hope to. Oh. Bugs really like this table. Well, especially beetles. Weird. I hope to get my library opened up after I get the basement opened up, after I get that tank out of there, after I get all the stuff moved to the storage shed, which honestly, with the amount that I'm cleaning up the storage shed now, I might be able to do it already. However, I think it's probably be a wise idea to get a bunch of stuff uh, to, to use that storage unit in order to move a bunch of things into the into the antique shop because if I can get that stuff sold then that, that'll open up a lot of space because the majority of the stuff from that barn find episode type thing which also I should go back and see how the barn looks now that it's all gone I assume it's all gone what I might do is I might put some things in there that I think I should work on but if they sell that's good enough there are a few things that I think it'll probably be a little while until I get to them, but if they sell for five dollars or something like that, then, eh, I don't really need to make a video about them. So I might put them in there, and then if I ever have time to make a video about them, I'll remove them from the from the antique shop if they didn't sell, and maybe do the video about them. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I also found some more roll roofing at 
the storage unit so we can use that to go underneath more of the bricks in the backyard the backyard work area that is and I've also been taking this time to I think it will be a good idea for me to go on more walks probably a good idea because I just haven't had time to do hardly anything whenever I'm doing daily videos so I think that schedule works out pretty well like work non-stop for four weeks or so and then take a couple weeks off where I'm just working at like a normal pace maybe making only three videos a week or none maybe for the first week I don't know I'm definitely on on my way to making at least 200 videos this year but I'm aiming for 250 videos this should be my my most productive year so far this month yeah August August 2017 was my most productive month ever so I be a video count although I feel, I feel pretty darn productive anyway just because all the stuff I'm getting done especially with that poison ivy it's nice to get it gone I figure if you cut all the leaves off and you keep cutting them off eventually it'll stop growing back that's pretty much it I think I'll go for a little walk and then probably head over to the storage unit and go through some more stuff and throw some more stuff away I've been making sure to keep the trash can full so yeah I kind of do like this schedule because I was getting pretty stressed with daily videos but now that I'm not doing daily videos at least for a, a short time kind of like doing them in bursts you know it kind of kind of helps me set up because now I have to set up all the, the next burst of daily videos and I find that now I'm really enjoying it's almost like whenever I got back from California it's like man I'm not all stressed and whatnot although I think playing Final Fantasy 14 kind of helps with that because Final Fantasy 14 really motivates me a lot and because actually not, uh, no joke whenever I was working at Apple I actually wrote wrote things down as if they were in the quest log and so I would think like oh I need to get so many dailies done today and so I'm just gonna do that I mean, I, I, that's how I formulated how to get things done and it made, made it enjoyable so that also carries over to doing YouTube videos and stuff like that so it's a very important game life-changing event life-changing piece of software life-changing system actually because it's not one piece of software it's a server system and everything oh well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this microphone didn't get too much wind noise and thank you very much for watching see ya